Yeah, and I'm actually a youth ambassador in 100 from Oman, but I was born in Sri Lanka, and I'm 13 years old. So now I'll pass it to Eva. Hi, I'm Eva Murphy. I'm a 100 youth ambassador from the United Kingdom, and I'm 15 years old. Got yeah, powerful. Powerful 13-year-old and a 15-year-old. I love it. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm super excited about this because I actually work on the I Can Help team already. I'm a recruitment specialist, so I help more people to be aware of the company. Are you ready? Let's get started. Yeah. Okay. Ready. So today we are here with Kim Carr, the co-founder and executive director of 100 Innovation I Can Help. And we're going to do a really important, uh, really interesting segment called Ask Me Anything, which literally means we can ask Kim anything so honestly it's a great pleasure to meet such an inspiring person such a motivational person like you and i think i've heard that you're an expert on empowering young people online about digital citizenship and how you can make a positive impact online i have so many things to ask from you but i think eva has a few questions on his sleeve right so yeah. i'll pass it on to eva indeed i do so Question number one, what is your greatest achievement? I definitely think it's the impact that we've made to students. Um, I've been able to speak to the numbers of 450,000 students uh, nationwide and even globally uh, to be able to empower them, educate them, empower them to be used digital for good. But then the biggest number that I think is my biggest achievement is training them on how to go back to their peers and teach them what we taught them. So that's at 12.5 million, because if we can train those leaders and they can go back and train more. So I think that's definitely a huge accomplishment that I'm really proud of. That sounds amazing. And because I'm also a founder of my own foundation, I, I think I have a long way to go. And you're such an inspiring person. Mm. If you could have any superpower, what power would you have and why? I, I was actually I'm gonna tell you, I feel like I already have some superpowers and one of my best superpowers that makes me so good at what I do is I love connecting the right people to other people. So I feel like that's a really cool superpower. I don't want to ever lose that. So I'm going to keep it to that because it is such a neat experience when I can find a 13 year old who's got a, has a cool organization and you tell me what your tell me about it, what your struggles are. And then once I hear that, I can team you up with somebody who can then help you with those needs. And I just think that's a realistic superpower that I'm proud I have and I'm going to rock it. So that's my superpower. I'm going to stick with it. I can definitely agree with that because I've met so many amazing people with I can help so many great friends. So I love a good book. What was the last book that you read? Um, I love uh, Tim Elmore. He's an educational researcher. So he talks about the different generations and how we're on this new map. So the book I love and um, just read it was called, I read it again. It's called Marching Off the Map because we're on a completely new map. We've got, with all this technology going on, like we are in different spaces and it really breaks down the different generations and how you're learning um, differently. And it's not, it's not a wrong thing. It's just a different thing. And so it really teaches me differently how to speak to youth um, on, on, on those different, even, even the older generation, how I should be speaking to them because everyone's learned so differently because uh, we're on a new map. So that's Tim Elmore, Marching Off the Map is the book that I just reread again. Well, when you reread it, you know, it's definitely a good book. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on my to be read list. Yes. Oh, okay. I've heard about all those great questions and actually when I was scrolling through my website, I realized that most because you also know that a lot of famous people, uh, they had so many obstacles, so many pillars they had to pass to get to where they are. And my question for you is, what was the biggest obstacle you faced in your career and how were you able to overcome it? Great question. Yeah, great question. You know, the, the first one that comes to mind that I just feel like, uh, honestly, was the biggest obstacle was myself. Uh, I was standing in my own self because I got held back when I was in third grade. And I from from that, I think I'm stupid, and I'm dumb, and I don't know enough. And so I think that's what was holding me back from achieving more was I just kept saying, I can't do this. I'm not smart enough. Like I'm not a business person. I, you know, I don't know how to take this to the next thing. And once I got out of my own way and got out of my own head, that was a big obstacle. 
it sounds so easy, but it actually is really hard. Like once you get that kind of that piece, it's, you know, getting out your own way is a huge obstacle. Uh, and then you just kind of go, Hey, you know what? I got this. I'm thriving. Like baby steps. Sometimes you got to take baby steps and then baby steps get to bigger steps. And that's kind of the biggest uh, obstacle that um, I'm, I'm proud that I now tell myself that look at, I could get to say like, wow, look at what I've done. And I am pretty smart on figuring that mm-hmm. uh, when I don't have the answer, I just figure it out from there. <laughs> Um, That's amazing advice. Thank you. Can you give an example of a mistake that you learned from? A mistake? That I, wow, you guys are coming with me hard. <laughs> Deep questions. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, something I learned that was a mistake that I made. Honestly, it's a uh, assume best intent everyone's so different. Um, and so my expectations for myself and what I'm able to accomplish is way different than anybody else. And so I just need to go in with a big mistake I made is I'm sort of going like, Hey, why isn't this person doing this? Like they must be lazy or whatever else. When honestly, this person was doing their best and um, it just, they never were taught how to do things. Right. So I think that was a huge lesson. Once I kind of went back and was like, I need to assume the best intent that they are actually trying their hardest and that I actually need to, um, I need to empower them more instead of delegating all the time. I need to make sure I empower uh, more people instead of uh, just assuming that they know how to do it, go back and empower them so they can get better at what they're, what they're trying to do. That was a huge mistake that I definitely look back at that I wish I could change more. Wow. That's really great to hear from you. And I just want to say, don't push it out too hard because mistakes, they're the ones that actually shape our lives. Like, have you ever seen the way they make diamonds? They cut the edges and then they make a really beautiful diamond. And I'm sure you're one too. A beautiful diamond that's ready to shine even more. And actually, I have another question for you. So uh, when I was scrolling your amazing website, I got to know a lot about your organization, I Can Help, how you believe students can change the world by using digital for good, and how they can spread online positivity. And my question for you is, what are the steps your organization takes to help students to empower and educate themselves through technology while staying safe in the digital world? Uh, I mean, I think the big thing is just making it come to life on what the problems are, you know, what are the problems and like, and making sure the students see it because they do see it and feel it, but they think sometimes that they're the only ones who are dealing with it. Right. So the big thing we always ask them is how many guys anxiety and depression has actually increased 37% since smartphones came out. Uh, I mean, think about it. How many guys uh, had anxiety go up? How many guys have sent a text message to the wrong person before? (laughs) I think everyone has. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, sure your, anxiety, your anxiety goes up right you're like oh my gosh yeah. what did I just do <laughs> right how many of you guys have been put in a group chat and you're like who is even in this group chat <laughs> yeah right and your anxiety goes up and and so um it's just teach them like how do you handle these awkward situations that it happens to everybody and it's normal and it's a normal feeling but then what do you do about it right and what can you do about it and then it's just educating them again on the even the mental health components of hey it's okay when you get feeling anxious when you feel depressed when you feel lonely stressed all those things those are all normal feelings but you have a, you have that emotional first aid kit that you can go to to be like i i have playlists um, that I go to. So I, when I, I still play soccer. So I play like my savage playlist when I'm getting ready for soccer. Um, my, and I actually send playlists to friends. My friend just went through a bad breakup. So I sent her a playlist called um, F him. Like, like, it's just kind of, and you gotta make it fun, right? Like it's just something funny. And I was just with some principals and they're struggling. So I made them a playlist that says you're short of shut, you're short of sub um, playlist because it's a stressful time right now for principals even, and they don't have subs and it's going to be a bad day. So it's like, here's a playlist that can just spark some joy in your life. Right. So teaching them those different things, um, uh, that's, I mean, that's huge. So, uh, teaching those things, here's the is, and then what you can do about it is kind of the big one. And then, and then honestly, the last one we get to do is we get to celebrate them. So students like you who've created some cool, cool stuff, we get to bring the, uh, the tech companies together and celebrate you. So the first year was at Twitter. Second year it was at Google. The third year was at Facebook. Last year was online with TikTok. And then we get to celebrate students who are doing amazing things online. And then it makes other students be like, I want to be that person. 
and gets other people going like, that's really cool. Let's all keep helping, right? I think that's the fun part of the job. Wow. Really, by the minute and the minute, I'm getting more and more inspired by you. <laughs> um, Eva, do you want to go to the next question? What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? I honestly have the hardest time at ice cream shops. So it always is weird because my ice cream is always in a, put in a cup. And I usually have three flavors and they're usually like shouldn't go together. <laughs> oh, no. I can never <laughs> so I just had, I just had it. And so I have a hard time deciding between it's a weird one, but I just because it's like very um, reminds me of my grandma. So black walnut ice cream is one of my favorites. And my other one that on the other side is mint chocolate chip. So those are my two, two my favorites. <laughs> I love this flavors too. <laughs> I've never heard of really, black but before. I think I love vanilla the most. I don't know why. I just love vanilla the most. <laughs> what is it? The lemon one? Yeah. I'm not sure really. Yeah. They're all the same. And the ice cream, if it's ice cream, then that I'll eat whatever it is. <laughs> and what's yours, Ava? Um, I'd have to say pistachio. Oh. And that's always a, good one. a cup over a cone. Always. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I love it. Really, it was amazing to have you, and we learned so much from you, and me and Eva are really delighted to have you today. Oh, I'm truly honored. Thank you so much. Banara, I'm serious. I want to hear more about your project, and I'd love to support you on anything yeah, and figure out who, how I can use my superpower, right? How I can use my superpower and connect you with yeah. who you need to. You're doing amazing work. Thank you, ladies, so much for the interview. Thank Keep you. asking those tough questions. Those are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.